So the main part of the process here is to convert the point cloud into a format that Revit can understand and import. So using Recap, we go to a new project, import a point cloud, give the project a name, click proceed, and then all I need to do is drag and drop the XYZ file for my downloaded matter pack into this environment. Now there are lots of things that Recap can do from filtering the intensity of the point cloud to actually decimating the point cloud as well or setting up your origin systems. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. So firstly, I'm gonna import the files and then as they're importing, I'm gonna click on index. What this is doing is importing the point cloud into Recap and then it's converting them into the format that will give us an RCP file that can then be imported into Revit. Now that's converted, if I hit launch, you'll see that we have our point cloud within the recap environment. Again, in here, we can start to do regions or clip some of the point cloud out and do a lot of setup to make it as clean as physically possible for Revit. But again, just to keep it simple, I'm simply gonna save the project. This will now give me my RCP file that I can import into Revit. So now we're in the Revit environment. The first thing we need to do is bring in the point cloud. So if I go to the insert tab and use the point cloud option, I can navigate to my RCP file, which you can see here, click open, and it brings the point cloud directly into Revit. Now again, I haven't worried about origins or coordinate systems within here for now. If you're an experienced Revit user, then you will know all about setting up your coordinate systems. But for me, it's all about keeping it simple. So first thing I'm going to do is go and have a look at the 3D view to make sure everything's coming nicely. So here you can see it has. Generally then I go to an elevation and look at my levels. So you can see my levels don't correspond with my point cloud. So I'm literally gonna pick my point cloud up, zoom in a little bit and make sure I get it roughly on the floor plan there. Then just for purposes, I'm gonna set this at ceiling height for level, level one, click OK. So now I've got my point cloud all set up. What I will do now is go into level zero and you can see here that if I was to start tracing over the top of this, it's quite noisy because it's got some of the floor and the furniture in there. So probably what I'd do is come into level zero, go into the view range and set my view range to be roughly at a floor plan height and then click OK. So now you can see I've got a much cleaner point cloud to work with. And all the point cloud is, is hundreds and hundreds or millions of dots in this particular instance that we can use to trace over or snap to. Now again, for speed, I've gone in and created a standard wall and I've just created as a survey wall because I don't know what the construction of this building is. So all I've done is created a 150 survey wall that I can trace over this outline. Again, we're snapping to the point cloud so it makes it nice and easy to go and start drafting over the top of this and following around the point cloud, tracing around, zooming in and zooming out to get your lines as nicely lined up as physically possible. Now here's a case in point of where 99% of the success of drafting over the top of a point cloud happens on site. In this instance here, when the data has been captured, I've forgotten to open the curtains. So I can't see any of the walls of the bay window in here. So I'm just gonna simulate a bay window by drawing it in manually and guessing the positions. So now that the walls have been completed, I can go into the 3D view and have a look to make sure they're matching on height, matching on locations. We can also go in and turn off the point cloud to just have a look at the walls themselves. So here you can see I've got all the walls. I could now go in and start to embellish this model further by putting it in all the doors, all the windows, and all the furniture. But for the purposes of this video, I wanted to keep it nice and simple to show you the workflow of capturing the space, downloading the matter pack, taking it into recap to index and create your RCP file, bringing that into Revit, creating a wall type, and then simply tracing over the top to start the basis of your 3D model. Thank you for watching. I hope that's been of use.